Hello, computer illustration and drawing. It's Mr. Corb. Welcome to artwithcorb.com. So over the past couple of days, you guys have been working really on your own to try and figure out how Adobe Illustrator works using letters. And once you create the letters and create them as outlines, you're dealing with nothing more than vector shapes. So it's the same as using a, a triangle or a circle or a square or even a line. Hopefully in your design work you've learned to and play around with excluding and creating that positive negative space. Um, the best way to learn these programs is to just experiment until you figure out what you're doing. Um, yesterday we kind of looked at what you had and today I'd like you to continue working on your your logo types. Remember there are three different ones that I want you to have. I want you to have one that is just the lettering, so three letters. I'd like you to have one that includes the name in that font, so your name. And and you're playing around with it too. It's not maybe I hope it's not just the standard letters. And then a combination mark where you're combining the two. Now some of you might be playing around with a symbol, some sort of abstracted design in the background. Uh, or as part of it. Now those are really hard to design as a, as a corporation. It has to really, really work. And I think that's why letters are a very, very good way to go. You know, Coca-Cola has their dynamic ribbon and Pepsi has the circle that's broken in half. They're not letters, but they're internationally recognized. Um, but McDonald's uses the golden arches, the M. So, so be aware of how you're designing that. I've got t-shirts bought and those are going to be ready. I'll pick them up either on Wednesday or Thursday. And we're probably not going to print on Friday like the syllabus says, but we'll probably push that until Monday. We'll see how things go. Yesterday I went over a little bit of InDesign so that you guys could work at combining your logos onto one sheet of paper so we don't have to you know, print individual dollar per sheet kind of thing. Um, and make these transfers uh, more affordable. So that's what we did yesterday and today is just work time. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll come back to try and join things into uh, that um, InDesign program so that we can print them in and we'll talk more about that on Friday. So get back to it. Think colors, think line use, uh, think scalability, big, big images, little teeny tiny images, the side of a building, and the side of a ballpoint pen. Have a great day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know on Friday. Thanks, guys. Bye.